Everything is oh, all right, sweet. and you are live. Are sweet. sweet. Thank you. In your computer. Oh, it's echoing on me. How do I make it not do that? Okay, it stopped. Okay, hi everyone. I'm Zoe. Well, you're joining us on Facebook. Um, hello. Um, I'm going to do a little class on essential oils that I've used myself and on other people for um, libido support and for PMS support. I don't know about anybody else, but my last three cycles have been late and all of my symptoms have been some that I've never experienced before. Um, I do have an 11 month breastfed son. So I know that part of that can contribute. Um, but being eight days late, my second cycle after I had my first one, I freaked out, got a pregnancy test. I was like, Oh my goodness, I'm late. Ah! And it came back, not pregnant. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to have to wait things out. And while I was waiting, I started using, um, Progessence Plus, which is like an amazing mood booster. And um, the Progessence part comes from Wild Yam, which is really cool. And regular sage and frankincense. Sage is actually an oil that is, I know they use clary sage, but I didn't have it, um, that can help with PMS um, symptoms and um, the things that are going on in your gut when that is all happening. Um, and after about a week of using that, I started eight days late. So then my next cycle, the week before I thought I was supposed to start, I started rubbing those oils on my tummy because I was extremely bloated, lower back pain, and tons of cramping the week before. Um, which before I had kids that never happened, it was like, okay, it's like six days. It's no big deal, whatever. And I was always on time and always regular. That second cycle was five days late and I was freaking out again because I'm starting a new position, a new teaching position and children are not in our plan currently. And I was like, dude, I don't know what's going on with my body. And so much anger the week before just anything would set me off. Anything would put me on edge, really combating with my children's emotions, which is like not something I would like to do at all ever. Um, so I again started with the progestins plus sage and frankincense roller. And it just, I could wake up in a good mood, which is a huge deal when you have two kids and a husband who works a stressful job and, um, so those were my three for PMS. And I have a girlfriend who um, was having, experiencing the same thing, late cycle, extreme symptoms, so much pain in her tummy, severe cramping, extreme exhaustion. So I made a roller for her and took it to her. And that night that she used it, she was able to get on her treadmill and work out. And she was like, dude, I feel amazing. I feel like I'm in a good mood. And I told her it's that progestins plus dude. It is, I don't understand, but it is wonderful. Wild yam, man. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is, um, I have it right here. Another one that they recommend for your period or your monthly cycle, menstruating, whatever you want to call it. So it's not. Um, besides progestins plus is dragon time. I've never tried it, but I've only ever heard good things. Um, let me find it in here. I sticky noted literally everything. And now I can't find where it's at. Ooh. Okay. So dragon time has fennel, clary sage, marjoram, lavender, yarrow, and jasmine. It's supposed to relieve PMS symptoms, menstrual discomforts, like cramping or irregular periods. It can balance your emotions, um, alleviating mood swings and headaches caused by the hormonal imbalance. Um, let's see, you can diffuse it or directly inhale it. You can do um, like an, oh, 
uh, rub it on your wrist, neck, temples, or foot Vitaflex, which is for females, it's on the inside of your foot, which is so funny because I have this huge book and I was like, I don't know what a Vitaflex is, but it's on the inside of your ankle. Um, something that I learned that you can do while you're menstruating, I always love like the big bags of corn that you can heat up and place there, um, is doing a hot compress directly over your abdomen or where your pain is. And you can use it on both sides of your um, ankles and feet as well, where that Vitaflex is just kind of take that down a notch because dude, when I, before I had kids, my cramps would be so bad that I would have to take, um, narcotic medication. It was awful. I would be writhing on the bathroom floor in so much pain, hurting so badly, miserable vomiting. And after I had kids, it kind of went away, but now I'm kind of getting back to where it's extremely painful. I don't want to move, but Clary Sage, um, I use Sage and Prodescence Plus have definitely helped minimize my cramping, which is amazing. Um, Dragon Time has those, that Clary Sage in it. I don't have it, but I would, I'm, I want to try it because I'm about it. Um, the next thing I have sticky noted was if I'm not mistaken, because I want to kind of read the ingredients. Yeah, USP grade testosterone, uh, progesterone from wild yam extract. The essential oils that are in it are copaiba, sacred frankincense, cedarwood, bergamot, peppermint, and clove. Um, cedarwood I know is really good for calming. So for progestins plus, there's just a note here that I didn't really realize because it's not technically an essential oil. It's more like a serum. Um, you have to be cautious when you apply. You can do two to four drops two times daily, and they don't want you to exceed two applications per day. Um, and I know on the bottle, it says rotate your application site. Um, I like to do it on my stomach because that's where I have cramps and my um, inner arm, because that's where I notice I have like the most mood boosting. Um, you can also do your neck, your inner thigh and the bottoms of your feet. Um, if you are nursing, please, it says consult a healthcare professional um, and avoid direct sunlight, just in case. Um, oh, and it's the first ever progesterone serum on the market, that's cool. It is very pleasant to smell, it's not gross. I really like it a lot, it's very, um, very mellow scent. Um, so that's all about PMS. If you need anything for PMS, hit me up, girl. I got you because I'm about it. I don't like being uncomfortable. It makes me want to scream and my mood swings are hardcore. So that progestins plus really helped kind of calm that down a little bit for me. Um, I know my son would wake up at like six o'clock in the morning and come in my room and I would be like, okay, like I can handle this. You know, I put my pro plus on last night. I'm going to apply it this morning. Got a handle. It's amazing. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about ha, 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 <laughs> is um, if you've had children, you know that it is hard to find time to be intimate with your spouse or partner. I have two children and it's like between the cleaning of the house and making sure everybody has food and making sure the kids are well taken care of. They're really, to me, it feels like there isn't enough time to like, you know, spice it up. You know, you have to like, not just go do it. You have to be in each other's face and bring the mood and enjoy each other. And with two children, sometimes that can be impossible. Um, for me, after my firstborn son, I didn't want anything, not even holding hands. I didn't want anything to do with anybody for six months. And for my husband, that was an extremely challenging time because he didn't just have a kid physically, although he's the parent. And I didn't understand why I didn't want to do anything. And your hormones are insane. And 
your, the last thing on my mind was pleasing anybody else. My first priority was keeping my son safe. I was a first time mom. I had no idea what I was doing. Sometimes I still don't, but it took me six months to be mentally okay. Even though I was physically cleared at six weeks to be in the mood to have things happen. My second born four weeks, ready to go. I'm over it. (laughs) Do the thing, be together. And obviously I wasn't physically cleared for that. So I understand wanting to wait, but if you struggle with a lack of libido, which some people do, sometimes I do, it's like, dude, just don't touch me. I don't want anything to do with this right now. I'm touched out by my children. Get yourself feeling like, (laughs) I don't understand how it works. I don't understand what it is about this insane flower, but it works for men and it works for women. I bought a Lang Ylang because I was like, oh, like it must smell good. I'm going to diffuse it. Yeah, it's delicious. And then I started reading about it and I was like, hmm, I'm going to try some of that. Rub it on your inner thigh 20 to 30 minutes. I don't wait that long. I usually do it like 10 minutes before, but if you want like the full potent effect of it and you can like know a schedule 20 to 30 minutes before. Wow. It will change your life. (laughs) I like, I don't know how to describe it like without being too graphic, but it's wonderful. It's an amazing oil. Um, This one says that low in this book, it says low testosterone can be a cause of a lack of libido. So they recommend Idaho blue spruce pine, which is delicious. Myrrh black pepper, which is also an energy blend. And I love it. Ylang ylang ginger and nutmeg. So for them, for men, they recommend four to six drops diluted 50, 50 on neck, shoulders, and lower abdomen one to three times daily. I don't use it all that often. Um, I do have a couple rollers that have ylang ylang in it, but I use them more for like calming things. Um, not necessarily for libido. Um, for women, they recommend jasmine, rose, ylang ylang, clary sage, and nutmeg. Clary sage is also one that they recommend for PMS symptoms. Um, so what they say specifically about ylang ylang is that it helps balance sexual emotion and sex drive problems. Its aromatic influence elevates sexual energy and enhances relationships. When I rubbed it on the last time, I laid in bed and my husband was like, dude, you smell like a campfire. And it's just you know, it like enhances the mood and sometimes that's all you need to like, okay, we're good. Um, Clary Sage can help with lack of sexual desire, particularly in women by regulating and balancing your hormone. Um, so if you're just not feeling it emotionally, um, you can use that oil as well. Like I said, I wonder if Sage would do the same thing. I feel like maybe there's something in Clary Sage that Sage doesn't have. Um, and nutmeg supports your nervous system to help overcome what they call frigidity. So like not wanting anything, which now that I read that it says you tend to become unresponsive to sexual intercourse or unable to achieve the big O that's exactly what I had when my firstborn was, when my first son was born, just don't, I don't want any of it, not even holding hands, no kissing, no nothing. Um, This is funny. It says our desires naturally fluctuate over the years and they're affected by a range of physical and emotional factors. Um, Most physical causes of low sex drive are a result of a hormonal imbalance, which is why that progescence plus was such a huge, awesome thing for me to get because it was like, okay, I finally feel like I'm not here and here. I'm really in this range of like kind of normal and not like so roller coaster. I can kind of control how I feel without losing my mind much more easily. Um, lemongrass, what? That's crazy. Um, so again, they say the same thing for women, progescence plus, ylang ylang, clary sage, and nutmeg are the three um, things that you can use topically 
Um, they do say that you can take one capsule of the desired vitality or dietary oil diluted 50, 50, two times daily. Um, I'm super sensitive to like citrus oils. Um, so I don't ingest them personally. Um, and I've tried and it, I didn't have very much success. I had kind of a negative reaction to it. So I choose not to do that. But if you know that you don't have a sensitivity, by all means, go for it. On the opposite end of the spectrum, there's sometimes an overdrive, which is how I felt. Like I was frigid when our son was first born and my husband was on the opposite spectrum, like excessive drive because you've waited this long. She's not pregnant anymore. Um, you know, things are kind of getting back to normal, except my body has literally been ripped to shreds and my hormones are like insane. And I'm trying to figure out how to breastfeed and figure out this baby who's waking up 18 times a night. Um, so if you feel like maybe there's someone on the opposite end and it's too much, um, and they're like continuously seeking out that type of activity, um, you can use the following oils, rose, myrrh, marjoram, valerian, which is crazy because I hated valerian. And then I started associating it with restful sleep and it didn't smell so bad anymore. It was kind of okay. I wouldn't have minded rubbing it anywhere besides my feet. Um, Cause when I initially smelled it, it was horrifying. I couldn't believe that I spent <laughs> any type of money on it. I was like, I thought it was going to be frankincense, but it was definitely not. But when you associate the smell with something positive, it doesn't smell as bad anymore. And lavender, those are all those calming, relaxing kind of oils that may help the brain not seek to engage in those type of activities as often as they would um, without them. There was one more thing for guys, because I know there's men around. Uh, I have to sing my ABCs every time I go through this book. M comes before P. I have different color sticky notes because I have the blue ones for the diet digestion stuff. Um, if you think that your man may have a hormonal imbalance, which some men do, some men need more, some men need less. Um, I know my brother-in-law really struggled with his testosterone level and needed to be way, way higher um, than he was. Um, this oil kind of helps balance the male hormones. Um, so like ours is progestins plus and theirs is called Mr. Um, it helps to decongest the prostate. So if they're having trouble urinating or if their prostate is painful um, and promote greater male hormonal balance. So it contains sesame seed oil, sage, which is like, you know, it's actually not that bad diffused either, but it's really good for support down there. Uh, fennel, lavender, myrtle, yarrow, and peppermint. Uh, you can actually diffuse this oil. I don't think my parents have ever diffused it, but they do have it. Um, dilution is not required except for sensitive skin. Two to four drops to the ankle Vitaflex points, which is on the inside and outside for males. Um, lower pelvis or locations of concern as needed. Um, I know that they can rub it on their like super sensitive area down there, like their, not their prostate per se, but like down in the nether regions, because that's what it's for to help um, decongest that area, which is crazy. Oh, here's some information about ylang, ylang I didn't even see this in here. So it means the flower of flowers. It's been used to cover the beds of newlywed couples on their wedding night, traditionally used in hair formulas to promote thick, shiny, lustrous hair. It, um, besides libido and helping with mood that way, it is a vasodilating, anti-diabetic, diabetic, yeah, anti-inflammatory, um, anti-parasitic, and it regulates your heartbeat. It can be used for people that have anxiety, hypertension, depression, hair loss, and intestinal problems. 
It balances male and female energies, um, combats anger, combats low self-esteem. I think that's where I struggle. It's like low body image. And then when someone is wanting to be intimate with you, it's like, oh, but I don't look right or I don't feel good. But then you use a langy lang and it's like, no, those feelings don't necessarily go away. They're inhibited for a minute and you can feel good about you because this oil is helping you. Filters out negative energy and restores confidence and peace. That is exactly how I feel when I use it, which is, it's in there for a reason because <laughs> that's exactly how I feel when I have it. And it's wonderful. Um, sage, I'm just going to read some information about sage, um, is derived from the word salvation. It's been used in Europe for oral infections and skin conditions, um, strengthening the vital centers and supporting metabolism. It's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. Some of these words I cannot read. Hormone regulating, estrogen-like. So that's where it helps with the PMS. Um, circulatory stimulant, which I think is good when you are menstruating because things are moving and it helps um, get those things going. Uses, the first one, menstrual problems, PMS. We're all like 20 drops in that little water, I swear. Estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone deficiencies or liver problems. Um, it strengthens the vital centers of your body, balancing your pelvic chakra where negative emotions from denial and abuse are stored. You can diffuse it. Um, I wouldn't say it's particularly my favorite smell. Diffused, um, really strong. Um, but you can use it topically, which is how I use it in my PMS roller. Um, the, there is a sage vitality that you can use if you're comfortable orally. Um, you put it in a vegetable capsule and take it that way, but avoid if you're epileptic or you have high blood pressure. And for me, that is it. I learned so much just using this desk reference guide just about how I should be treating my body. And um, now I don't have to take a prescription medication for my period cramps, which is like awesome. And even though my cycle is jacked up with the days, um, I don't feel um, worried because I know I have these oils to kind of help me get back on track and not um, have to use other things. I mean, if you use other things, that's totally up to you and that's great if they work, but I'm trying to stray away from that stuff and keep my cycle like as normal as I can. My next thing I'm getting rid of is I think tampons because I'm over the way I feel when I use them. Headaches, painful, ugh, and they're just awful. <laughs> I just hate using them and I hate having to buy them, really. But if you ever have any questions about periods or your sex drive, hit me up. I know it's sometimes uncomfortable. I know when I was choosing my topic for this meeting, I was like, you know, somebody has to talk about it and like be comfortable. <laughs> and not be afraid of, you know, saying it. Um, so I said it. <laughs> but if anybody has any questions, um, if you don't have a desk reference guide, I suggest getting one because it is, I don't know how many pages, it's 700 pages or something crazy, almost. 640 pages of like straight up every oil ever and how you can use it and this is when people come to me with, oh, I'm having headaches or, oh, I'm having, you know, PMS problems. I don't even Google. I go straight to this book because it has all the oils from Young Living, how you should use them. And like, I trust it because it's been, it's working so far. All the stuff that I've learned from here has been wonderful and working. So, ooh, I just keep finding things. Envision, I have that one. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm not scared of talking to anybody. So I don't know how to, I don't know if I can end your live, dude. Copy streaming link. I don't know where she went. I don't know if I close it, what will happen. 
But anyways, that's that. I don't think, oh, it's just me and her on here. So if anybody has questions, feel free to pop them on Facebook and I can answer. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I, if I leave here, can I end it? Girl, where'd you go? Come back. There's a friend's oil? Stop. Since when? This is what I'm telling you. You just go through the alphabet with this book and it's like, okay. <laughs> what? She was saying divine something. I don't think that one's in here. Like the, I don't know what the blends are that come in that line. But um, I did send a, what I call it as like a SEX roll. I don't know if it's going to block me on here because I took whatever. Um, roller to a friend of mine who hasn't fully 100% committed to purchasing oils through me, which is fine. I just send her rollers when she orders them like for anxiety, insomnia, and the following. But I had posted on my Instagram about having low libido and she messaged me and it's like, you know, no one would ever feel comfortable unless I start talking about it first. So I have to start talking about it first because I'm the one who can ease those like, oh, I don't want to talk about it. It's so taboo. No, it isn't. It's every, you know, it's fine. Um, and <laughs> so like, I have to, <laughs> I have to follow up. I have to know if it worked. And she was like, dude, it's amazing. Like, yeah, I know. It's amazing. What did I use for hers? I used um, Ylang Ylang bergamot for the smell i just enjoy it and it kind of um ylang ylang to me is a little bit musky so it kind of masks that a little bit um if you don't like particularly want to smell like a campfire <laughs> and orange just to like kind of ground and calm because orange is really good for anxiety um and she said it worked and i write out a card of instructions i write down how much how many drops of each oil where to rub it. So inner thigh, bicep and on your neck. Cause those, that's the thinnest skin and it's going to absorb more quickly. And, um, she said it worked. So yay. I know what I'm doing. I feel like a scientist, you know, when I'm like making my mixes and stuff. Um, cause it's cool to see like, Oh, someone is struggling with this. What oils can I use to help them? And then getting the combination right and not having it be too overpowering. Um, cause those, the floral oils especially can be a total turnoff if you have too much of it. Um, but she loved it. And I'm so glad that she did. I use bergamot and ylang ylang literally in, I think, four out of my six rollers that I have currently because I love them and they're wonderful. Um, but if you have PMS questions, if you have any other types of questions, hit me up and I will walk with you on how to create a blend or how to create a roller bottle to fit your needs or um, anything. Send you information from my desk reference. I can send you pictures. Um, I've been doing that. Uh, my sister just purchased the ancient oils kit, all the Bible oils. And she was like, I don't know how to use any of these. And it's like myrrh. I don't you know who knows how to use myrrh. So she, um, she came over to my house and used my desk reference and, um, was able to get all of her information that she needed, but it's cool to, that's like what I love about it. It's like, I have this knowledge or this book has this knowledge. I'm not going to just keep it for me. You know, I want you guys to know how to use it. Could you? I don't know what happened to her. She disappeared. Thanks. I was gonna say, I would just leave, but I don't know what it does to the Facebook Live if I do that. Bye, guys. All right, I'll leave. See you later.